Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Asty here again with you for another video and today we have another episode of our Operator School series. The series where I go through each operator in Rainbow Six Siege and tell you why you should be using them. And this week's episode we will be doing Fuse. Now, the way I will be grading each operator is by a 1 to 10 skill in three different categories and a final overall grade, which the three categories are weapons, gadgets and versatility so I'm going to be going in order of one attacker and one defender for each week and next week I will be doing a defender so right now on screen there is a card where you guys can click on and there will be a poll for you guys to vote which defending operator you guys would like to see for next week so with all of that out of the way we're gonna hop right into our analysis of fuse and just a general overview of who fuse is he is an attacking operator that is part of the Spetsnaz Special Forces unit and his gadget slash ability is the cluster charge that pierces and sticks to walls releasing sub grenades on the opposite side. After going over our kind of generic overview of fuse we're going to start with our first category here which is weapons. For the weapons category I have given fuse a 10 out of 10 and the reason for this is because he's got a whole lot of variety and just a bunch of different options that you can choose from when deciding his primary weapon and it's just overall good to have that variety. Now. Fuse has an option between three different primary weapons. First off, his AK-12, which is an assault rifle that does 44 damage, 850 fire rate, a 40 mobility, and a 30 round mag. The recoil is absolutely beautiful. It's exactly what you would expect in an AR. Just very tight groupings and just overall a very easy weapon to handle. So personally, ways that I would like to run this would be using the reflex sight, grip, and the compensator just because you want to get the most out of the damage since it is a high damage weapon probably one of the highest in the assault rifle categories but putting a silencer on it will kind of weaken that but if you want to go stealthy it wouldn't be the end of the world if you put a silencer on next we have our 6P41 LMG now this gun kind of reminds me of the PKP Peshneg and here in Rainbow Six Siege it does 39 damage and it has a 680 fire rate while having a 35 mobility which is really really slow and it's kind of clunky trying to walk around the map with this gun but on the bright side it does have a hundred round mag so you can just absolutely empty into your enemies and not fear having to reload the recoil is a bit moderate to high so just keep an eye out for that and just ways that I would like to run it is again using the reflex sight but I did like putting the flash hider on it since it does have a lot of muzzle flash and sometimes can kind of blur your vision. And then finally we have grip. As for Fuse's final primary weapon, he has the option for the ballistic shield. Now the ballistic shield does have 30 mobility which is again pretty darn slow and it just kind of feels sluggish trying to move around the map. And he has an option between two pistols when using the ballistic shield which is the PMM and then the GSH-18. Now personally I like to go with the PMM just because it's a little bit stronger although the mag size is smaller. I feel like the rounds are heavier hitting and it's just easier to get kills in that sense but if you are accurate definitely go with the GSH just because it has a higher mag cap and you can just dump on people if you can get headshots then you know that's good for you. As for other kind of gadgets that Fuse has the option between is your standard breaching charters and your flash grenade. Personally, I like to go with the breaching charge. Just makes it easier when getting to objectives and trying to find alternative routes to the objective. Now, moving into the gadget category, as I have mentioned before, he has a cluster charge as his gadget, and I've given his gadget a 10 out of 10. Now, the reason for this is because it is extremely deadly and can clear out rooms and just absolutely obliterate the enemy. Beforehand, in the beginning of Rainbow Six Siege, the cluster charge was a lot more effective and even better than it is now just because it had like five grenades, I think, that it dispersed when you used it. But after a patch, they kind of nerfed it a bit. But nonetheless, it is still a really, really good gadget and I had no problems getting triple kills and other types of multi-kills with it. You just have to be a bit more strategic when placing the cluster charge. Since you only get two, you kind of have to use them wisely and you can't just kind of throw them wherever you want. A good idea when using his cluster charge is either to have yourself or a teammate throw a drone in the room, kind of spot out the enemies whether that you actually spot them out or just kind of communicate between your teammates and you know verbally spot them out but find out where the enemies are and then place your cluster charge so you can be the most effective now moving on to our final category and it was really difficult here and I wanted to give 
Fuse the perfect 10 out of 10 here, but unfortunately I had to go with an 8. And the reason behind this is because Fuse is kind of handicapped when playing the hostage game mode. You will absolutely 100% kill the hostage if you put the cluster charge anywhere near the hostage, causing you to lose the round, which can be very frustrating. I've seen it happen uh, from both my teammates and the enemy. You can get some sort of lucky win or loss, which can be pretty frustrating. So with that said, Fuse is not 100% perfect. But, you know, you can still use him on hostage. You just have to be a lot more cautious where you're going to put your cluster charge. And I would definitely recommend not putting the cluster charge anywhere near the hostage. Now, also the reason why the versatility is at an 8 is just because Fuse is pretty slow. He has 3 armor and 1 speed, which can be good and bad at the same time. It just gets a little bit hard when you're trying to run away from, you know, sticky situations and you want to just get the hell out of there. But at the same time, he can absorb a whole lot of damage and kind of be tanky. So Fuse's final overall score is going to have to be a 9.3 out of 10. And again, that is just due to the versatility and the fact that he is kind of handicapped when playing the hostage game mode. So my final thoughts and why I think you should use Fuse would be to, if you were trying to be a tanky operator with just absolutely amazing weapons, an extremely good and deadly gadget and also has high versatility again he's just not completely perfect so he doesn't get that perfect score but just overall one of the best operators in the entire game so that is pretty much it for this video if you did enjoy it please hit that like button let's try to see if we can hit 80 likes on this video and again don't forget to vote on which defending operator you guys would like to see for next week so i can go ahead and get that set up and if you haven't already please subscribe as usual you guys have a good one peace